might have lived and makes no difference where you are. It's as simple as this, they're in love. And one private kiss, they dream of. But when he goes to see her, folks all go there. He feels he wants to repay. There's no place else to take her, to tell her that he loves her. And occasionally I've heard him complain. Our love affair of necessity must be a thing of public interest, not private property. For there's mom and pop and sis and bud to peer and jeer when I love you and you love me. No place to park and watch the moon go down. We can't take it up to shore when you shove the town. We must do our romancing with lots of people glancing. We don't care, just let them stare and let them frown. Mess hall, candy dinner at the Ritz, Guayule, your corsant. Since gas is rationed, we must walk a bit, but we can pretend our Buick is stored in camouflage. So we'll go on and do the best we can. You're still my favorite glamour girl. I'm your ardent fan, it's just as good to pretend, it's not so important when, you're sure it's true that I love you, I think you know it, and I'll show it when I can. Isn't that wonderful? As, as Ewell Hauser said last night, Mary, you personally connect the past to the present. You project it to the future by sharing the beauty of your song with all of us. Thank you. Now my pleasure to introduce Tom Labange. Tom represents the 4th Council District of the City of Los Angeles. He has family roots dating in the city. Back over a hundred years, he's passionate in his knowledge and enthusiasm about the history, about the people and the history of his district and his city. The priorities of his administration include... The oh, come on. <laughs> okay. He's a strong supporter of parks, I'll tell you that, and he has a presentation. All right, Thank enough you. of that. Hey, thank you. Good afternoon to everybody. It's absolutely wonderful to be here. Let's salute all the veterans again. All the veterans, especially the 142nd. Woo. Anytime we go in Los Angeles to a new building, to a new firehouse or a library, I bring them something special. And Frank, this is a great new building for the National Park Service that you restored. And I want to bring a loaf of pumpkin bread for the Monastery Angels, which is just below the Hollywood sign. It's uh, a little tribute to you and your staff as you open this center and salute all the people who worked on it, who restored it. I was here, Rose, with you on the 25th anniversary when I was a representative for then Mayor Reardon. And now I'm back again. It's absolutely gorgeous to see what you have done. Rose, and I can tell you, Sue, it's so important that you could tell the story about what one, what two people could do to move all of us in the great history that you spoke of, Rose Ochi, of the fight and the help that you received from Tom Bradley and John Farrell. I'm just proud to stand here as a representative of Los Angeles because many of you are from the city of Los Angeles, and that is so important to us here. Two things I also have right now. A full council proclamation. It's not too often that the City Council of Los Angeles, Mr. Supervisors, uh, ever re re support anything unanimously. But today, on this day, we salute Manzanarn for Sue and for Rose, if you could step up here, Mary, who picked up my check this morning in Mount Whitney at the cafe. It blew on the floor and she picked it up for me. Let's try get in here, right here. Director, please. Okay. Look at that. 
And finally, this has been in my office at City Hall. I did work at Water and Power for several years, and I do believe that they, I like the fight, Sue, of how you fought Water and Power. Because Water and Power is good, but it's very important, because if we didn't have it, we'd still be a little Pueblo down in 300 miles away. But there's been battles and there's been histories, and we thank the cooperation with supervisors, past and present, and I know we'll work out uh, in the future for all issues. But what was so important is finally it got done. And finally people got pushed in the right way and educated, educated about history. What a great history lesson we received today here at this very historic spot that should tell a story that never should be repeated again. But this plaque, which was cast, shows and solidifies that this is the city monument number 160, along with all the monuments in Los Angeles, from the Hollywood sign to the observatory to Cabrillo Museum. One of the 60 monuments in the 600 monuments in the city is Manzanar. Shall we never forget? Thanks to the National Park Service. Give them a big hand. Everybody worked on this. And Frank, get a big rock for this.